This is Dr. Ashley Brissett showing a pterygium excision with amniotic membrane graft. This patient had a progressive pterygium which was causing irregular corneal astigmatism and affecting the visual quality. This is showing the operating room setup using the Ingenuity system. The first step is to mark out the extent of the pterygium. I then like to avulse the head of the pterygia using a 0.12 forceps. Once you find an appropriate plane, the tissue dissects quite easily. The pterygium is then dissected using the Westcott scissors. I use a combination of blunt and sharp dissection, taking care to avoid damage to the medial rectus muscle, which is in this area. I then lift up some of the tenons and excise this so that you're only left with bare sclera. There are usually some tissue remnants on the cornea and limbal area. The cornea can be gently scraped with a crescent blade to ensure removal of all surface cells. Polishing and smoothing of the surface can also be achieved with a diamond burr. A smooth surface will help aid in reepithelialization and healing. If you have some persistent vessels that are bleeding, you can apply light cautery, however, do this only sparingly. Small amounts of thrombin in the patient's own blood will actually help the graft stay in place. I then apply sponges soaked with mitomycin C under the conjunctival edge, and then irrigate extremely well with balanced salt solution. I then use calipers to measure the area of bare sclera to prepare my grafts. I bring the amniotic membrane over into position. You want the sticky side or the stromal side down and the epithelial side up. I smooth it into position and ensure that it fits in this area. You can excise any excess of the amniotic graft. Using two non-toothed forceps, I reflect the graft back over the cornea. I then apply the components of the fibrin glue, one component to the bare sclera, and then the second to the graft. Then using the same non-toothed forceps, I reflect the graft back over the area of bare sclera. I then make sure to properly smooth out the graft. You want to ensure that the graft edge is abutting the edge of the cornea and making sure that all components of the graft are tucked under the conjunctiva. I then use a wet cell to check for any attachments of the glue to the speculum. The last thing you want to do is remove your graft at the same time as removing your speculum after all your hard work. I use a Vanessa scissors to snip any attachments. I then apply a collagen shield over the cornea. This will dissolve after the first 24 hours and I start the patient on topical antibiotic and steroid drops. You can see the results one month post-op. Thank you.